Hi there, Wally here. Are you a Vim lover like me? If yes, you really enjoy this VS Code extension. This will combine all the features that you have already in your VS Code by default, plus all the features that you are already an expert with Vim. But before we move it on, if you believe this video is bringing some valid information to you and you are not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button now and also hit the bell and allow the notifications. Then you'll be the first one to know once I post a new video. Take your preferred beverage, have a seat, and let's enjoy the video. We are here on VS Code. Let's take a look on this. Let's click on Extensions. And we don't care at this moment about popular or recommended. We are looking for Vim. So we can see the extension. Let's hit Install. And that's it. Simple like that. Now we can see that we have this installed the plugin now let's come back to our file let me open the project that we are working on video demo and let's start by this script so this is the the shell script uh, um, one small shell script that we have so look at that we have this cursor i can just press enter nothing is changed because now I'm using the V extension. So if I like to insert something here at the bottom, you can see that I'm in a normal mode. I can press I and then now we are in search. If I press enter, there we go. I can come back to normal. I can type colon and then I can type something. So let's say that I like to go to first line. I can press column one and then there we go if i like to go to column three there we go if i like to copy this line i can press y twice and then i can press p to paste and then i just yank that line okay Odero, what is the big deal here about vs code and vim so for instance let's suppose that i have all those spaces over here and I would like to remove this with Vim. In general, I can work with block, but let's suppose that I'm not familiar with block, then I, I saw this a lot of time. Customers just doing this, and then they do this with the next line, and then this again, and eventually this is gonna cause problems like this because now there is one space. Eventually this can break some code, eventually not. For bash script, this is gonna work fine, for Python, definitely will not, okay? Okay, let's undo this one. And from here, let's suppose that I'm very familiar with VI, then I can type Ctrl V, let's select that block. And now I can press X on the keyboard. And then there you go. I was able to remove all of them in a single shot. Oh dear, this is Vim. This is good. I know that. But let's suppose that I don't want to use Vim. I would like to combine the, the power of VS Code and Vim. How to do that? I can select all the block here using Shift. Note that I'm in a normal mode, okay? If I type Shift Tab or Tab here, nothing is going to happen. So let me press I of Insert. You can see that the mode changed to Insert and then shift tab so look at that now i can move the whole block just pressing tab or shift tab this is amazing and again i'm just combining things here combining vi with vs code because by default this is what i should be doing with vs code tab or shift tab okay let's suppose that i like to command all those lines here from 5 to 11 so what I can do on VI, let me show some examples. I'm already on insert mode, so escape, insert. I'm here. Then I will add one command, next line, next line, next line, next line, next line. This is valid. We see people doing this every single day. This is not wrong, okay? Let me show you another way that is much simpler. Ctrl V of visual block. Now let me put my arrow down up to the line that I would like to add something. 
shift i i would like to insert and let me put a pound sign and then see i can put multiple pound signs i can put just one that's it once i add it ask this is bi okay we are just working with a, a, a visual block and this is good enough so let me remove all of them now let's do this using the power of vs code and what is that let me select them all the lines and i can press common forward slash or control forward slash this is the way to comment multiple lines see for me this is much simpler like i can just pick one or two lines i can comment that line and if I like to uncomment that line, I can just select the same set of lines or just one line, doesn't matter. Once I have the cursor on that line, then there you go. I can comment and uncomment. Once the last one was commented already, so because of that, we added one more comment. But here we are. So, see, again, this is a combination of vim and vs code in a different ways if i like to remove those lines here i can just do a dd 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 delete line or i can do something like one two three four four lines four and then dd then i will delete four lines or again i can just select them i have to be in insert mode and then i can delete I can press delete, I can press control delete, or I can press just delete on Mac. Then there you go. This is going to work in the same way. So again, some shortcuts that will help you during this path. Okay. All right, Odiro, this is amazing. Uh, I can see some future here because I'm a deeply Vim guy. Then I know a lot of stuff. Definitely you can combine them you can still be using your vim knowledge so for example let's say that all the time i press colon w to save if you take a look here there is a, a circle because the file is not saved yet if i just press enter there you go the file was saved so you can save the file from the column w or you can press something like common s this is gonna or control s if you are in, in in windows or linux machine this is gonna save the file in the same way okay amazing now let's talk about uh yaml files i created this yaml a short yaml here just to show some stuff uh, from here we can see yaml is very sensitive for indentation okay so anytime that we have uh, some sort of blocks or, or something that should be underneath that specific call or tag or directive, then we have to respect that. If not, this is going to fail. Definitely this is going to fail. So if I have this one here, for instance, my hyphen should not be in the same column as task. So this play is going to fail. And now there you go. We have this one. This is going to work. So this VS code, if I like to copy this block over here, I can just select Ctrl C, Ctrl V. As you can see, this is not aligned. Let me save. So definitely I can be on insert mode. I can press tab and that's it. Now I have no more problem. I have Ctrl C, then insert, Ctrl V, Ctrl V, Ctrl V, Ctrl V. So this is working on VI. I should be copying the blocks. Let's suppose that I like to copy this block. I can use shift V to copy that block. I can use Y to copy and P to paste. It's going to be something similar. Uh, eventually, if I have another play in the same file, Let's suppose this is my first play. I put this name test on purpose because I like to change. Normally you will delete or you change in some way. Like in VI, we can press CW and then that means change word. And as you saw, like I just changed the word to first 
play. Let's suppose that I type CW on VS Code, should be something like this, okay? But once we have like this uh, plugin, then there we go, we have this ability. Oh dear, can I copy this block using Shift V? Definitely you can. If you are comfortable with that, you can do this, or you can just Shift arrow down, Command C, then you copy that block. And from here, we can paste Command V or Control V. And this will be the second play. So nice stuff here is something like this. If I would like to move it on, because now this is a big play, you can see that the task is identified and then I can see they are all identified underneath the task. So I have no problem with that. This one over here is also aligned with the, the first one. See, the second play is aligned with the first play. If I want, I can just collapse those tasks and then I can be sure that this is aligned properly. Oh dear, can I do all those stuff in VI? Definitely you can. But again, this is not something simple. This is not something that everyone knows. But let's give it a shot. Not all of them, because this video is not about VI, but about VS Code and the plugin. So look at that. The first thing here will be a black screen. Uh, no much information. Definitely we can get all the configuration that we need. And then we can create a configuration file for Vim. And then all the time that we load VI, there you go, that configuration will be used and then we can see some of them in place. So for instance, set new of number. Now I can see the lines. This is great. If I press shift and type something here, see, I'm using tabulation, the space is four. I don't like that because I like to keep this two. So I have to do something like set tab stop equal to and then now I have my entries on two. If I do set list, set list is gonna show hidden characters. Look at that, this is not a space, this is a tabulation. And then tabulation can also cause some problems to me here as well. So how can I fix that? Because once I do a, a tab, see, I'm getting a tabulation. So there is another one here that we can use, expand tab. Now, all the time that I press the tab, I have space instead of tab, okay? This is great. So let's say that I have my name, uh, new. I don't like that, see? Let me remove the set list. Okay, um, all the time that I press enter, I'm just coming back to the beginning of the line. You see, on VS Code, this is a standard. Like I'm here, I press enter. I'm already identified with the next block or the current block. So I have nothing to, to do like multiple tabs or space just to get in that specific place. So how can we do that? Set auto indent of identation should do the trick. So anytime that I press something, I will be underneath that block. So I know that my next one should be here, ansible.beauty.debug. And again, now I'm underneath Ansible or the, the letter A. If I like to move two space ahead, I can press tab and then I can say message. We got it. See? So we are getting close to that one, but again, like this is already ready to roll. You can definitely combine all the power that we have on VI with the one that we have over here. And then we can see that the file got updated here as well. So again, this is a nice way to keep all the power and all the knowledge that you have with the Vim. 
but combining also with the VS Code power, I, I see only happiness, only a bright feature. And eventually if you say, okay, now I'm good, I don't want to be playing anymore with Vim because now I know all the power of VS Code, this kind of stuff, then definitely you can keep the Vim for the terminal and just start using just VS Code, you can. Or the opposite, like, man, I hated VS Code, so let me come back just for Vim. Again, uh, what is best for you? If you believe Vim will be doing everything in the same pace or maybe even faster than VS Code, that's it. This is for you. So get out from VS Code and just keep on Vim, all right? Just to sum up this video, let's click again on extensions. You can see that we have the Vim. You can click on the gear and extension settings. As any other extension that we saw up to now, this is the place where you can see all the standard configuration. So by default, all the configuration from this extension will be here. If you like to change anything, that's it. This is the place. All the color, all the configuration, all the characters, the limiters, everything will be on this place. Oh dear, I don't like that. I would like to change. I would like to do some additional configuration. I would like to, definitely you can. You can do any change that you wish. Uh, anytime here, let's suppose you change this one, you are not enjoying, you don't remember the original one, you can come back and reset settings. So basically this is gonna come back to the original configuration, okay? I hope you enjoyed this video. This plugin is indeed amazing. And to all the developers who are starting with VS Code, letting go of all the Vim stuff in a single shot, it's really hard. With that said, why not combine both super powerful tools and move it on? I'll see you in the next video. Bye.